ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Weston Racing and also Happy New Year. If this video got out on the date that I wanted it to, that would be New Year's Day. So I hope you all are ready to celebrate the first day of 2024 with a case of monster trucks from 2023. I planned this out so well. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm really excited for today's video because there are a couple trucks in this pack that I'm really excited to look at. This is case... Uh, D 2023, if I'm not mistaken. Um, normally I, per I start the video by telling you the case, but as you can see, we're doing things a bit differently this year. I always like to change things around and just see what works and wh what doesn't. You may remember last year we started recording outside of the box again. I got a uh, exterior light, as you can see now, rather than using just the lights in my room. I've actually got one that's attached to my studio now. And on top of that, for changes this year, you may notice... The background music has changed. The structure of the video itself has changed. But not only that, we have got a new camera, a new light, a new table, and a new tripod that I am all working with right now. So if this video sucks, blame the equipment. Do not blame me. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, that's what I got to talk about. So today we're going to be taking a look at eight Hot Wheels monster trucks. I am really excited. And the cool thing is, is that with this new recording style that I have patented here... It's going to be really cool to check out because the turntables will be at the end of the video. What in the world? My background. Oh, wow. That It's actually like that in real life. So you see the way the box is set up right now where it looks crooked? It's actually like that in real life right now. I didn't even notice that. Anyway, yeah. So you guys may remember I do turntables in my videos. And those are usually at the after each individual vehicle we look at the turntables. Well, I've decided to change things up. All eight turntables are going to be at the end of the video. All They're going to be simultaneous one after the other. They're also going to be sped up a bit so they're not as long. But other than that, yeah, that is literally the structure of the new videos. Uh, oh, and yeah, in case you couldn't tell in the intro, this, is, this year is the fifth anniversary of Weston Racing. I've been on YouTube for five years already. I cannot believe that. That is just crazy to me. And uh, yeah, so this year is going to be pretty special. I've got a few things planned here and there. I got something that I want to do really bad for the fifth anniversary of Western Racing, but I am going to tell you right now, do not get your hopes up. The chances of it actually happening are really low. So if it does happen, then it happens and, you know, be there when it happens. But as for right now, you really don't know. Anyway, that aside, uh... I don't know how to work this new camera, so at some points in the video you may see me stopping to try and figure out some stuff here and there, but other than that, I think this should be pretty much all we need to know right now. So yeah, anyway, eight monster trucks. This is Hot Wheels monster trucks. I don't think there's any re-releases in this case, if I'm not mistaken. All of these are brand new to this case. Well, brand new for the year for the case. So you're going to see trucks like, you know, the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile, which I'm pretty sure I have like four of that truck at this point, all exactly the same. But because of the way I collect, I uh, if it's if it's the same truck but released for the first time in the year, then I'll probably grab it just for the video's sake and showing off like everything with the accessory and all that. But usually I don't care too much for that. Um, anyway, yeah, that's really all I got to say there. Let's get into the first truck of the case, which is arguably one of the coolest trucks that Hot Wheels has ever made. I would actually argue that this is probably in my top five for all time favorite Hot Wheels monster trucks, even in the Monster Jam days. I don't, I don't need, I think this truck is better than the stuff that they released back in the Monster Jam era. And that is our first truck for today's video. Number two of six for the leading legends, Samson. Now this is awesome. Now, for those of you who don't know, way back when, uh, yonder, uh, a little while back, they had a chase piece truck, which was Samson number one. That chase piece truck then became a normal release uh, in the leading legends. The only difference was the tires, I do believe, was literally the only difference they made between the chase piece and then the actual release of it. And uh, yeah, so the leading legend series has been this really cool thing that they've done with... Uh, I'm pretty sure it has been just a bunch of different like uh, monster trucks from across the era. So we've had Bigfoot, Samson, Snakebite, Monster Vet, and I think there was another truck that made an appearance in the Leading Legends series last year. I can't remember what it was off the top of my head. Anyway, this is probably my favorite of all the Leading Legends trucks that they've done, the modern-day Samson. This thing looks freaking amazing. 
and uh, I don't even know why I'm wasting time. Let's get this thing open. I am so excited. Here we go. First item unboxed for 2024. Everyone get excited because here we go. Oh man, this is awesome. Is this awesome? I'm sorry we're not. <laughs> I can't. One of my New Year's resolutions was to, you know, make it through a video without stroking out halfway through, but I guess that's not going to happen anymore. Get rid of that little plastic piece right there. That is not necessary. All right, so here is the card art right there. That looks really freaking cool. I love the pinstriping on there with the golden lettering. That is cool. I like that a lot. For the accessory, we get a... So they brought back the Connect and Crash Crush Cars for 2023. And as you can see, we got a blue Rally Cat for that one. I really wish Hot Wheels, for the love of God, changed the accessories. It's been like three years in a row you guys have done the Connect and Crash Crush Cars. They're not that cool. Trust me. They're actually probably some of the worst accessories you guys have ever done. And then here is the truck, the Samson. Now, I don't know if it's 100% uh, visible yet, but I am actually recording this video in 4, 4K HD quality is what my phone says it's recording in. And I don't know if it's showing up that way on your guys' end, but if it is, that's awesome because that is a major improvement from my other phone that I was using, which only recorded in 720, I'm pretty sure. So that is a huge upgrade. Then again, though, on my end, you really can't see the difference. Anyway, so we got a black body with uh, a black roll cage, chrome chassis, black tires with black rims and purple bead locks. It really looks blurry, doesn't it? Like, I really am having a hard time digesting this. Hold on, let me see if I can change some things in my settings real quick. All right, let's see if this helped. And that kind of helped. Okay, so I dropped it I dropped it out of 4K and back down to one, uh, 1080. So we'll see if that helps or not. Anyway, let's take a look at the side detail. Whoa, that gets some good zoom. Holy crap, that scared me. So the side panel here, as you can see, says Samson Hot Wheels Moss Trucks. And then there's something written on the arm here. No idea what that says. That is a regular US patent is what that says, believe it or not. Oh my God, the zoom. Oh, wait, uh, my phone has zoom fun. Hey, that's cool. I can zoom out. Whoa. Oh, my God. I can reverse zoom. That's interesting. I'm like an old man finding, you know, finding out how to use a smartphone for the first time. This is crazy. Um, so, yeah, all that detail there. The main thing that makes Samson so cool as a monster truck is that it is a pickup truck. And then it has these really cool 3D arms on it with the fists at the front, which always looks really cool. Uh, as you can see, he's breaking out of the chains there with the cuffs around it, which looks really cool. This side is exactly the same, but mirrored. Here is the front end here, which looks really cool. And then if we go up onto the hood, you can see the Samson logo. You can see the top there. This really cool sun visor. I have never seen a monster truck with that before in diecast form. So that's really cool. And then the back end says Patrick something. Let's do the super cool zoom again. Well, that was not nearly what I wanted. I want to go down to the seven. Thank you. Patrick. Oh, God. What does that say? Patrick something. Can we focus on it, please? Patrick something racing. Something Patrick racing. I don't know what it is. But anyway, there, there you go, everybody. That is Samson, the first truck of today's video. We got seven more of these to go. I say we get right into them. And, uh... I almost forgot. I literally made a mistake right there. I was going to uh, pause the video and then go into the next one. But that's not how we do it anymore. We change things up, everybody. Instead of pausing and going to the turntable, we're just going to go right into the next truck, which is Loco Punk for number three of six of Hot Wheels Back to Basics. Now, I have actually never opened a Loco Punk before. Loco Punk was one of the very... I think, I find it interesting because uh, when Hot Wheels first was invented, they had the Sweet 16, which were their first 16 Hot Wheels cars. When Hot Wheels Monster Trucks first became a thing, it, there was the Sweet 16. They were the, the first two cases of trucks, eight apiece, made 16. Loco Punk was one of the Sweet 16 for the Monster Trucks. And I actually do not have a single Loco Punk in my collection unboxed. So this will be the first one. And I think it's a good one to start with because this one's really cool. So here we go, everybody. The, let's see, while I'm open this, I'll see if I can remember what the Sweet 16 are. The Sweet 16, the, for the monster trucks, were uh, Hot Wheels Dairy Delivery, Tiger Shark, Bone Shaker, Skeleton Crew, Test Subject, Hot Wheels Racing 1, Stars and Stripes, 
V8 Bomber, Battle Axe, Mega Rex, Locopunk, Psychodelic, Hot Wheels Racing. Th no, Hot Wheels Racing 3 was not one of them. Uh, Roger Dodger was one of them. Hotweiler was one of them. Steer, no, not Steer Clear. Steer Clear was not one of them. I think I named them all. No, I'm missing one. I am missing one. God, which one am I missing? They didn't do a shark yet. I don't think they did a shark. Wouldn't think so anyways. Oh, shoot. I made a mistake on the last one. I didn't even show off the card back. Let's take a look at the Samson card back real quick. So, whoa, okay. God, I forgot. I forgot, everybody. My bad. Okay, there we go. Okay, so the name is Samson. The truck type is Pickup. The strength is a Brawn and Bravado. And the crash attack is the Strong Arm Slam. And then for Locopunk, we have Locopunk. It is a city truck. The strength is the Front Row Catcher. And the crash attack is Railroad Rundown. How cool is that? There we go. That's actually kind of fun. I like the, the zoom buttons there. So here's the Loco, Pl Loco Punk nameplate. I really like the simplicity of that one. That one's a really neat little design. The Crush Car is a red rally cat compared to the blue one that we just got. Now we have a red one. All right, here it is, the truck, Loco Punk. Really cool. So we got an orange body with a indigo roll cage, orange chassis, black tires with these really cool blue uh, solid rims, which I think is pretty interesting. So the truck itself has quite a bit of detail on it. Here we go. So we got the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks logo, Hot Wheels, the 68 there on the boiler, which looks really cool. And then you got these really neat uh, blue and cyan stripes with the white stripes going down the side. This side is exactly the same, but mirrored. And then if we go up to the top, you can see the 68 once again with those stripes, which looks really cool. I love all the casting detail on this one. The boiler has all the bolts in it. There's a lot of like lines here. You can see the front end of the boiler with the lights and the bolts. And then in the actual plastic molding itself, you got the cow catcher right here with some headlights. Flipping over to the back, you got the cab of the locomotive right here, which looks really freaking cool, as well as some more boilers and stuff. And then up top, you got the bell and the, uh, what do they call that? The chimney. So that is really cool. I really like the detail that they put into this. And okay, let's be honest. Who wouldn't love a real life train monster truck? We already have one. It's called Crazy Train. I am a moron. This, however, I think if they made this into real life the way it looks right now, it could easily be Crazy Train as the train truck. Like this thing is just super cool. And I really like it. I am upset that I don't actually have one of these unboxed yet in my collection because this casting is really freaking cool. So there you go, everybody. That is the second truck for today's video, the Locopunk. And another thing I want to say before we move on is that the uh, the Hot Wheels Back to Basics series is a series that I am really fond of. It really follows the idea of a normal Hot Wheels uh, car where it's just a casting with a different paint job than what they've done in the past. So it's really it's really cool to see that they're taking their individual custom castings for the monster trucks and then just doing something cool with the paint. It's nothing really that special. But speaking of special, this is probably one of my favorite series that they did for 2023, the Championship Crashers, number two of six, Five Alarm is up next for our third truck here. The Champion Crashers are the ones that are all gold. For those of you who may remember, we have already looked at one, and that was Mega Rex, the dinosaur. That one was really freaking cool. And honestly, I'd say that Mega Rex was honestly the bottom of that series. It was still a really awesome truck, but that just means it gets better as it goes on. Uh, the trucks that they did were all Hot Wheels Monster Trucks live trucks, though. Since there's six trucks, I'll just spoil the whole series for you. It went uh, Mega Rex, Five Alarm. Then they did Bone Shaker after Five Alarm, I'm pretty sure. Then after that was Tiger Shark. Then they did Race Ace and then Demo Derby. Personally, my favorite is out of the series is either Race Ace or Demo Derby. I don't really have a choice because I actually don't have either of those. But just going off what I've seen, those two are easily my top my tops for this series because they are so cool. Race Ace might be my favorite because the detail on Race Ace was shocking. So here we go. Let's get this thing unboxed. Well, this is convenient. I can actually do a little side tangent here once we get this out of the package. So uh, 
Let's take a look at the back of the package for Five Alarm first. I really do like that the packaging is personalized for every single monster truck. I do think that is a detail that Hot Wheels should uh, pride themselves in doing because no one else really does that with the, like the bios, the truck bios. So let's zoom in and here we go, everybody. So we got the five alarm name. The truck type is City Strength, the Super Drench Fire Nozzles, and the Crash Tack is Fireball Stomp. I'm pretty sure that is the exact same as it has always been. I don't think that has changed at all. The nameplate here, five alarm, you can see that looks really cool. I kind of wish there was a bit more gold on the nameplate, but that's all right. And the crush car that we got is an orange cruise bruiser, which is really cool because... The original Cruise Bruiser Hot Wheels car was orange, and this is it right here. So that's kind of neat. I actually get to show off my favorite Hot Wheels car in a video. That is so hype. So there you go, everybody. That's awesome. Anything to show off the Cruise Bruiser. I love the Cruise Bruiser. Alrighty, here it is. The Golden Five Alarm. What is there not to love about this? This is awesome. The black and gold really complements itself. We got a black body with a gold roll cage, black chassis gold tires and black rims and let's just look at the paint detail shall we going in here we got the 68 there hot wheels moss trucks fire department initials right there got the it's like a there's actually glitter in the paint which i think is really cool with the flames on the side there up here we got more flames uh hot wheels fire hot wheels fire department right there the front end says hot wheels fire on it with some flames this same or this side is the exact same as the other side but mirrored however there is a slight difference where the 68 in the hot wheels monster trucks fire department is in a different spot and there's more flames looking at the actual top of the truck you can see the hot wheels monster trucks fire department logo right there with the flames and then over here it has the hot wheels monster trucks fire department the 68 with the gold hot wheels logo and on the back the 68 hot wheels logo and the caution tape so that's really cool and then of course i one of my favorite things is that some of the Hot Wheels Moss trucks are working rigs, which means they have functional pieces to them. And the five alarm, of course, is famous because the ladder does move up and down on the truck. So that is really cool. Hot Wheels, if you are watching this, please consider doing this paint job on the real life five alarm at some point because that would be freaking awesome. Anyway, there you go, everybody. That is truck number three, five alarm. What a cool truck, really. I, I'm really a fan of that one. That, that is definitely going to be... Like I said, I thought the Mega Rex was cool. That one definitely tops Mega Rex so far for the uh, the uh, gold trucks easily. But uh, yeah. All right, now to move on to something a bit simpler in concept. This is number 4 of 11 for the Freestyle Wreckers. It is the Volkswagen Drag Bus. And yeah, like I said, it's pretty simple. It's just a, it's a, it's a Volkswagen Drag Bus, and it has a pretty... Honestly, you know what this reminds me of? And I know it looks nothing like it. This kind of reminds me of the real-life Monster Jam Fluffy Monster Truck, which is based off of the comedian Gabriel Iglesias. He had a Volkswagen uh, bus monster truck that he had in Monster Jam. And it kind of reminds me of this. It has the same color palette almost, the Weston Racing color palette, if you will. Um, but yeah, so let's get it open. Um, I have a feeling uh, all of the trucks after this one are going to be pretty basic in description so we'll probably get through those ones nice and quick but then then everybody we get to the final truck which i actually do want to spend quite a bit of time on because it is also part just like samson also a part of the leading legends collection so that means it is a pretty special little truck also another thing to keep in mind is that any trucks that are in the leading legends series has or will exist in has currently does or will exist in real life that is something to keep in mind so yeah let's get that little plastic piece out of here here is the back of the package volkswagen drag bus the truck type is van the strength is fantastic speed and the crash attack is a drag down so that's cool uh for the nameplate right here pretty simple just says volkswagen drag bus and it has the checkered on the back Pretty simple old nameplate. I ain't complaining though. And then for a crush car, we got a green dogzilla. So that is awesome. I find it funny that now, now I just realized this, the uh, crush cars are, uh, we got dogzilla and then we have uh, rally cat. That is really interesting. I don't know if they did that intentionally, but that is quite funny. I forgot what the, oh, do we have? Oh yeah, we do. Never mind. I was a little concerned. All right. So here it is. The Volkswagen drag bus. Pretty cool, not going to lie. Just 
I'm going to do, I think what we're going to start doing in 2023 or 2024 is we're going to do like overall looks on the trucks and then go into detail. So I'd say this one's actually pretty good. It's a nice balance. It's nothing crazy, but at the same time, it's got enough detail on it that it's not boring, which I think is really nice. We got a black body or a dark gray body with a red roll cage, chrome chassis, black tires with white rims, which is pretty cool. All right, let's get into the detail here. This whole thing is covered in checkers, by the way. So we got that really cool like uh, 60s diner floor look on the side of the vehicle here. Hot Wheels Mosh Trucks right there, Hot Wheels logo right there. That is pretty much all of the detail on both sides that is really worth looking at. You got the air vents on the back and whatnot. And then up front, Volkswagen emblem with the headlights and reflectors slash blinkers. Up top, we've got the really cool checkered pattern on the uh, roof as well as the red spoiler back here. And then in the back, you can see that really cool drag racing jet engine back there. Massive jet engine in the back. Oh, and there's also a, a smokestacks on the side as well. I completely missed that. But anyway, yeah, that really is the Volkswagen bus. There really isn't too much detail to go over on that one. It's pretty simple in concept, but also pretty neat. I will say, I really do like this one. So anyway, there you go. That is truck number four for the video, the Volkswagen drag bus. Now we're getting into some pretty simple trucks that we've I've already reviewed quite a few times on the channel. So we're not gonna spend very much time going over these ones specifically. However, I am still going to give them screen time because you know they are part of the case and they do deserve a little screen time. And uh, like I teased earlier in the video saying that this is about the 30 millionth time I've had this truck on here, please welcome back to the Weston Racing Review Box for like the 17,000th time the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile for Snack Pack, number three of six. Um, what would a year of the Hot Wheels Mod Trucks be without the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile at this point? This thing is like a friggin' celebrity. It's always here. Also, this is something I just now realized. These little pictures up here with the trucks are really cool, but if you look like the confetti and paint design around them changes with every single truck. It's unique, which is pretty cool. I did not notice that. Actually, it might be, it might relate to the series that it's a part of maybe we uh somebody fact check me on that and let me know in the comments i am too lazy to do that myself right now so let's get her out of the package here oh by the way i should have said this at the beginning of the video but i completely forgot there is no chase piece in this series there is no chase piece all right so let's start with the card uh, Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile, truck type Wiener Mobile. Strength is the hottest dog, and the crash attack is Wiener Roast. Uh, I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but they actually tried to change the name of the Wiener Mobile to the Frank Mobile uh, in 2023, and everybody hated it so much that they ultimately just changed the name back to the Wiener Mobile because they they were like, all right, you know what, whatever. The nameplate just features the Oscar Mayer logo on it, so that's really not that impressive. And then for a crush car, we got a blue time taxi which means we now have one of all four crush car variants uh, in this video. Alrighty, here we go. Here is the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. Pretty much that is literally the Wiener Mobile right there. Uh, it's got the same detail that all the other ones we've seen have with the orange body, black roll cage, uh, silver chassis, the or chrome chassis, black tires and chrome rims. The Details that you really need to point out here, Monster Trucks logo, Hot Wheels logo, Oscar Mayer logo, and then you got ketchup and mustard just flying off the sides of this thing. Also, the wheel wells are bite marks, which is really cool. The front end has the grill with the uh, headlights, blinkers, and reflectors, and then the back end just has the tail lights on it. That is really the entire, I mean, you got all the windows. It is literally just a Monster Truck version of the real-life Wienermobile that uh, has become ever so famous as the Oscar Mayer mascot, which is, you know, pretty cool. So anyway, guys, that is truck number five, the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile, just a nice and simple one. And speaking of mascot vehicles, ladies and gentlemen, as I've said multiple times on the channel, uh, what is Hot Wheels' mascot vehicle? Well, that question is simply answered with this, Bone Shaker. Bone Shaker is easily Hot Wheels' mascot. That isn't even arguable. Now, this bone shaker right here, ladies and gentlemen, is number four of eight for Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live. A pretty cool, this series right here is dedicated to all of the real life uh, Hot Wheels Monster Trucks that have been made. Bone Shaker was the first. It was literally the first ever Hot Wheels Monster Truck. Now, this one, however, has seen an update. I am 
now realizing I don't actually don't have an unboxed bone shaker, just a classic one. I have a bunch of variants, but I don't have a classic bone shaker, and I'm just now realizing that, which is weird. But I'm going to point out that there are two details on this bone shaker that are actually new and were never on any other variant of the bone shaker. So I am going to point that out. I keep cutting myself with the cardboard. That hurts like crap. Okay, let me get my little temper tantrum done and over with here. Let me just, woo, okay. I don't wanna cut myself with the cardboard again, so I'm being super gentle. All right, there we go. Okay, get that out of here. Get that out of here. Get that out of here, okay. Alrighty, so the name is Bone Shaker. The truck type is Hot Rod. The strength is Skull Grind and Grill, and the crash attack is Skull Smackdown. Pretty simple little stats for the Skull Grill that the Bone Shaker is known for. Here is the nameplate. I really do like the nameplate for Bone Shaker. That looks really freaking cool. I really do like that. And then, we, of course, we got an Orange Cruise Bruiser once again. So that is awesome. All right, here it is, the bone shaker that we all know and love. This is really flipping cool. I love how you can just, you can tell it's classic. That is a classic bone shaker. Black body, red roll cage, chrome chassis, black tires with black rims and red bead locks. Just super cool, you know, it's the iconic Hot Wheels monster truck. You cannot go wrong with this. So, of course, as you all know, the truck has its signature details of the Monster Trucks logo with the Hot Wheels logo there. The skull looks like a chalk drawn skull with the flames on this side too. However, over here, as you can see, we got a Hot Wheels logo without, there's no skull, it's just a Hot Wheels logo with the flames. And then the big change that was made to this truck is that the hood now has flames on it and the roof has a skull on it. Both of those details were not there on this truck originally, which is pretty cool. I wish they'd put something on the tailgate, but other than that, those... These two details right here were not there on the original releases of this truck. Those are all brand new details. Everything else was there though. So that is pretty cool to see that they've updated this truck to make it a bit more interesting. Also, another thing I wanna point out is that one of my favorite details is that if you look in the bed of Bone Shaker, you can see the battery and the fuel tank as well, which I think is really cool. Huge motor up front and the Skull Gorilla, as we all know. So there you go, everybody. That is Bone Shaker, the uh, mascot vehicle for Hot Wheels. Once again, you know, you can't go wrong with Bone Shaker. It is just a downright iconic monster truck. You gotta love it. Super duper cool. Okay, um, next up is another interesting one. One of my least favorite things the Hot Wheels does with the Monster Truck Series is they do the character trucks, which are based off of their character cars that they do in the actual Hot Wheels line. And I kind of wish they'd quit bringing them over to Monster Trucks because only some of them turn out good. The other ones turn out terrible. This is an example of one that I would argue actually didn't turn out that bad, but still probably could have been done better. And that is the Jurassic World Dominion. Yeah, sorry, I read that wrong. <laughs> and that is the Jurassic World Dominion Triceratops, a truck that once again, we've already looked at here on the channel. So this will not be my first time reviewing this. Uh, that does say, yeah, that does say Jurassic World Dominion, uh, the Triceratops there. It's pretty interesting because each, the, there's two Jurassic World Actually, there's there's three Jurassic Park trucks, and each one is connected to a different thing. Like the Triceratops is Jurassic World Dominion, the T-Rex is Camp Cretaceous, and then the Jeep, which I just picked up recently, is the original Jurassic Park, I guess. It's really goofy the way that they do it. I don't understand it. Anyway, I'm going to try and avoid cutting myself with the cardboard again, because I'm going to be honest with y'all, that doesn't feel too good. It hurts. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Okay, let's get... Okay, we'll just remove the Triceratops eye. He didn't need that anymore. You don't need eyes where we're going. Uh, alrighty, so here we go. Here's the card back. Uh, the name is Triceratops. The truck type is character. The strength is triple tough, and the crash attack is horn hammer. You gotta love a Triceratops, but we all got to admit the OG Triceratops monster truck is Jurassic Attack. You can't go wrong with that one. Here's the nameplate. As you can see, it says Jurassic World Dominion on there for the Triceratops. 
We've got a red Cruise Bruiser this time, my favorite color for my favorite car. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then here's the truck itself. We've got a uh, dark green body with a black roll cage, dark green chassis, black tires, dark green rims, and these jade gr or jade green uh, bead locks, which look really cool. So here you go, everybody. This is the Triceratops, as you can see. You can see how where they got the inspiration to turn this into a monster truck because the uh, Hot Wheels car features treads on it, like tank tracks. So they shrunk them, made them real tiny, and then stuck them on there like that. You got the fuel tank there. It's it's kind of like a dump truck almost, which is really cool. Got the horns, quite literally the horns, and then the the nose horn almost functions as a hood ornament there on the grill. Headlights in there. Here's the fan with all the lights on it, which looks really cool. Uh, you can also see like the scaling detail on the uh, back of the, the bed itself, which looks really cool. Hot Wheels uh, and Monster Trucks logo right there. Back here, you got the tail lights and everything, which looks really cool. Got the green window inserts, and that is pretty much it for that truck in its entirety. That is the Triceratops right there. Pretty cool to get this one once again, but you know, not my favorite. Anyway, that is uh, it for the basically the whatever trucks, the meh trucks, I would say. For this case, the Wiener Mobile, the Bone Shaker, and the uh, Triceratops. I do think it's cool that the Bone Shaker got an update, I will say that. However, this is the final truck. I should have told you guys the halfway mark was uh, after the Volkswagen bus. I should have said that and I didn't. I'm a little off, a little off beat right now. Anyway, here we go, everybody. This is the final truck for today's video. Please welcome in Cliff Starbird's Monster Vet, number three of six for the leading legends. How cool is that to see this truck uh, in diecast form? Really neat. This is a real monster truck, by the way. It is a monster truck Corvette, pretty much. Uh, Cliff, Cliff Starbird's creation. I do. I think that's how you say his name. Are these going to function as mirrors and just completely expose what I look like? Okay, judging by the looks of things, if I hide myself behind the light, you guys shouldn't be able to see me. Then again, I am a very pale person, so I'm in a dark room. You, the contrast, the color contrast might give me away here, but uh, let's hope for the best. Anyway, let's zoom in here. So the name of the truck is Monster Vet. The truck type is Muscle Car. Strength is Iconic Power, and the crash attack is Mold Breaker. Breaks the mold indeed. I think the reason why this truck was so cool was because it was the first car it was the first non-truck monster truck, I do believe is why it's famous. Here is the nameplate for the Cliff Starboard Monster Vet. Looks really cool, like that a lot. Here's the crush car. It is an orange uh, time taxi. So that's cool. All right, here we go. Oh boy, look at that. Here is the Monster Vet. Looks really freaking cool. I absolutely love that. And those rims act as mirrors. Look at that. You can see my tripod. Um, so yeah, this is really cool. We got a uh, dark blood red body, a blood red uh, roll cage, black chassis, black tires with the chrome rims. Looks super duper cool. So if we're going to take a look at the detail on the side of the vehicle... Monster Trucks, Hot Wheels there, Cliff Starbird, the Monster Vet there. And that is pretty much the only detail on this entire vehicle are those little details. And then, of course, as I pointed out, there are the super duper reflective. My fingerprints have already smudged them up really bad. I'm going to wash the wash this thing before we close out the video so you guys can see what the real chrome looks like. But you got those super chrome uh, rims, which look really cool. And uh, yeah, there you go. That is Cliff Starbird's Monster Vet. Like I said, not a lot of detail there, but it is worth noting that it is a Corvette on a monster truck chassis, which is pretty flipping awesome. You got to admit there is there is some definite dedication there to make something like that happen. But there you go, everybody. That is the final truck for today's video. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for, the turntables.
There you go, everybody. That is all eight of them on display for you right there. Going from the bottom left to the top right, we have a Samson, a Locopunk, Five Alarm, the Volkswagen bus, drag bus, sorry, the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile, Bone Shaker, Triceratops, and the Monster Vet. That is pretty cool to see all eight of them together. I should have been uh, focusing on them as I went, like uh, clicking on the camera to make it focus on the individual trucks as I go. That would have been a cool way to do it, but I didn't think to do that. So uh, yeah, there you go, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun to record. I uh, don't know how this is going to look after editing and once all that's done, just to see how everything comes together in the end. I'm very, very curious what my editor is going to cook up and just see what uh, see what everything looks like. I think it'll be cool to get a good glimpse at that. But anyway, without further ado, I hope that you all enjoyed this video as much as I did. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next Diecast unboxing video. Peace out.